Blue suede shoes and I boarded the plane. Touched down in the land of the Delta Blues. In the midnight of pouring rain. And I'm walking in Memphis. Walking with my streets up on the we are awesome dads, okay husbands, and terrible golfers. We dive into golf, fatherhood, and life. This is the Breakfast Balls Podcast. Nailed it. Welcome to episode 90 of the Breakfast Balls Podcast with your hosts, Mark Budden and Chris Lador. <laughs> uh, I don't know if that's going to stick, man. Get your spaghetti on the wall. This one's falling off. Mom's though. spaghetti. Knees weak. Yeah. This one's coming off. But it, it was a good effort. A valiant effort. <laughs> yeah, you know. Uh, Try to mix man. it up a little bit. What is what is the origins of button? Is that German? Yeah. We- I uh yeah, German. 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 <laughs> That's how you pronounce it in German. <laughs> I don't know. That's probably not. Going to shorten it a button on Ellis Island or what? <laughs> no, actually, same uh, same spelling for the same last. Spelling. Yeah, it's just how you pronounce it. Yeah. The uh, buttons. Yeah. The buttons. Um, We're going to see you, Mark. A, yeah. Welcome. Welcome back. Um, you made it to 90. Um, Still with uh, us. That's st- amazing. You're, yeah, you're living on borrowed time now. Or, or you're 90 episodes deep. So, and you haven't like f- succumbed to cancel culture yet. You are, <laughs> um, yeah, you're just a 90 year old man. You made it. We're, yeah. we're 10 away from 100. It's pretty amazing. Probably should have some type of party or gathering. We and, should uh, get there this year, too. We keep the, the every I mean, other one every, would hope. Well, the every other week there. Like, yeah. gives us 20 weeks, right? We're not halfway through the year, so we should right. get there. That's what I mean. Like, we'd have to take, eh, we've done it. I guess we, it's possible we don't get there. Get a little summer lull every once in a while, you know, or just I don't know how many vacations you got left. Seems like you vacation every other couple weeks. So, Me? yeah, we got to work around your vacation schedule. Me? Yeah. You. Um, I've got, I've got, well, you've got a baby coming. So that's not a vacation. No, no, I'm saying (laughs) you're taking time off. So I am taking time off, but there's vacation time. It's vacation time. You're taking, are you using vacation time? Yes. So it's vacation. See. So it's a vacation. You're taking vacation time in June. Well, technically it's personal time off. So it's not called vacation. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, I'm the only the only thing we have planned right now is uh, I do. I'm Tahoe in June. Yeah. See, that's right what when, I mean. Like, there's right when there's gotta but, be. But I'll be I'll be here. I mean, I'll be here on a Monday to record. I'm know. just I'm just saying we gotta work around your vacation. Scott. We're gonna have to work around your baby probably. It's probably gonna be the biggest nuisance. No, the baby probably won't even be a problem. It's it's more difficult to work around your vacation schedule. <laughs> I don't have anything after that. Yeah, no, you've you haven't been on any vacations yet this year, so we we'll can. have uh maybe, you know, we'll be moving in July. And... Yep, probably have to work around that. You want to have internet or something stupid. And I know it's already being set up. Um, and then <laughs> what I have internet, and then uh, maybe we're we'll going to Arizona in the fall. Okay, yes. so. That'll be like your seventh vacation this year. If we keep where, going. Where are the other ones? We went in spring break. That was it. Party in the city where the heat is on. We went to Miami. On the beach to the so brink. Two. On. two. Welcome to Miami. And two. Tahoe's four. Tahoe's Arizona's three. five. How do you go from two to four? Uh, you know. Happens. Math. <laughs> math and science. I was told there would be no math. Um, yeah. You've been on just as many vacations this year as I have to this point. No, I don't think I've even traveled out of the state lines this year. So we we were in Miami together. Maybe not mentally, physically. Prove it. We were both Prove, it. Prove it. Okay. Here. <laughs> Damn. Uh, and you Damn were in smartphone. You were in Tennessee. The only ten yeah. I see. Uh, you know, look good. You look good. Yeah. 
Yeah. Look at your haircut. You got a haircut. A little high and tight. A little yeah. tight fade. Today? today? No, uh, no, I went yesterday. Yesterday. I went today. I went this morning. You got tidied up a little bit? Yeah, I got cleaned up by Yvonne. Cleaned me up. She does good work. Sports yeah. clips. Probably didn't take her more than about six, seven minutes. No, she, no, no. She puts in good effort. Like, I'm there for a half an hour every time. She does the beard. Oh, okay, maybe it's the she beard. She takes up. Your time in. She gives me. A, there just ain't much left up she there. She gives pal. me a shampoo. Then she goes back and cleans over anything, any loose hairs that she missed. Because you know, after the shampoo, there's always when you get the when you get the buzz cut, there's always stragglers. I mean, there's so you got to go back. So many jokes right now that i'm just wow. holding you back because you don't have any hair i do this is hair mark it looks like it, it's it, it might not be as lush as yours no it won't and nor will it ever but that is hair see that's hair look how there's it, a lot it, of hair there yeah don't tip too forward we're gonna see a lot of skin a lot of red lot skin of from being burnt i think you're a little burnt i wear a hat you, uh, burnt? speaking of hats we forgot to wear the uh Greg Norman hats. The sharks. I got them in my garage. I forgot. Yeah. I got to put them in my car. Please. So I can wear them. I, there's, there needs to get like a those, multitude those of through. uses. I forgot about those, by the way. Completely forgot about them. Yeah. It was like three episodes in between when you, we thought you ordered them to when they showed. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, I swear I ordered them and I saw it. I saw it come out of my off my credit card and like I never got an email about it. And then all of a sudden they just showed up in the mail from Saudi have Arabia. Tried, have you tried them both on? Have you modeled them off for your yeah. wife? Yeah, no, she's like, What are you doing? I was when I had the mustache too. She's like, Well, you look oh my god, I love it. You look, she's like, she was just appalled by the way I look. She's like, What are you and Mark doing? What are you oh, what are you guys doing? You know what? I got beef with your wife then. Come on. Let's, you she know. Goes, what are you doing? What, what, what is, what is the fate? Why that's superficial? Why, why in the world does a mustache bother you that much? I don't know. Especially when, you know, you, oh, you had a full beard. So now you take a little bit off. You used to not have anything. So what's the big deal? No. Right? No, I took off. She hated the beard for when I first had the beard. And now she, now if I shave it off, she's like, what'd you do? Yeah. And like if well, I trim my beard too short. Yeah. But if what my beard's too you long, being bald, though. my beard's too long, she knows I'm sensitive to it, so she doesn't talk about it. She doesn't talk about it. She just no, judges you like for it. You. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm absolutely going to make fun of you for yeah. it. Um, it's superficial in in so many ways, just like you make fun of my my pot belly and I don't uh, though I breasts. Don't. <laughs> um, it's all in my ass and my breasts. I guess my stomach too, but my breasts really uh, it's just like swollen, swollen up. It's like meatloaf in uh, what's that? What that's the movie I'm thinking of? Damn it, I'm just trying to blank. Fight Club, meatloaf and Fight <laughs> Club. Uh, rest in peace, meatloaf. Love you. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, it's like meatloaf. It's just all just funnels right into there, like a reservoir right in the uh, breast it's more, region. It's more like a valley. <laughs> it's a it's a it's a reservoir. It takes down wa water like a camel's hump. <laughs> Like a great uh, dam, the Hoover Dam. Yeah, but uh, boy, we really got off track there from it's you being easy, bald. So, easy to do. Um, anyway, easy your to wife do. loves how bald you are. Go on, she's fine with it. I mean, I don't know, she doesn't make comments about it, but she has scheduled you for many restore appointments that you've never gone to, right? She hasn't done one. No, I told her I'm gonna oh. do it, I just don't have any money right now. You're such a you're poor, you're a poor man. Chris Laporta. It just, I mean, you started GoFundMe for you. You should start to <laughs> GoFundMe for my hair because all their money is going into our house right now. <laughs> yeah. So, Go, a GoFundMe for Chris Laporta to get hair. <laughs> Restore. I think, yeah. I think this can gain traction. I think we can get uh, some, you know, some donations. I don't know that I feel comfortable for it gaining traction. <laughs> I don't like, either, but if uh, someone wants to donate, they donate. But then you got like, all right, then you got to donate it back to like an even better cause because you getting restored is not a good cause. Like, donate it to like Arrow P share or something. Come on, don't don't donate take it. to what? Aeropecia, the uh, the disease where you allo, lose here. Alopecia. I think it's it might be arrow. Allo <laughs> makes more sense now. Than <laughs> hearing my it might it might not be arrow. 
But I think it might not I, be arrow. Um, it's alopecia, yeah. Allo makes so much more sense, um, but you never know. Just don't slap me, Will Smith, because I, I said it wrong and pronunciated the word incorrectly. Oh, yeah, that's the that was the issue with uh, Jada, mm-hmm. right? I think so. Yeah. Um, okay, so it is alopecia, not spelled... Um, like, like I was expecting, but it's closer than what I tried to type in to the R and D machine. Uh, but it's yeah, I think it makes a lot more sense that it's alopecia. Yeah, so aeropecia doesn't really do anything for anybody. So, so if uh, you're what you're suggesting is if we start a GoFundMe that I should donate the money to a greater cause. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I um, because people like, like use a little bit of it. I don't know that I don't think it comes I don't think you get to I think it's like all or nothing oh. like you either get your hairs extracted from your butt and put on your head or you don't I don't, think, like I don't use, think they do I don't think they use butt hairs what do they use back hairs no they use the like older the, hairs they use the thicker follicles down here oh from like the back the, of the head the mullet area yeah yeah, yeah you're, that's you're right that's wrong now that you're like speaking normalcies you think you're right did you take the, drugs before the recording? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Um, I, I can see it now. I can see all of it now. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but anyway, so if you do the restore, I think you need to go mullet. Like, if you can pull in a mullet with the Greg Norman hat, a mustache, and, like, light on top. I'm already light on top. Look, fucking save some girls for the rest of us, would you? Please. I'm already light on top. That's what I mean. Like, if you could go light on top, party in the back, Greg Norman hat, mustache with a slight scruff. My my wife would never have that. Should Save be, some women for the rest of us. Be able to do it for like a day, like maybe two days tops before she like shaves it off in the middle. Yeah, of the I was night. like, but it's not like you have so much hair that you'd be so if like it's not like your hair goes down to your back and you'd be offended if someone cut your hair, right? Yeah. You don't have much to work with. So if someone were to shave your head in the middle of the night, which would be really weird at the age you're at, um, you would have, well, you know, it'd be one person, your wife. And then you'd be like, well, you didn't do much. You didn't take much from me. I still got the mustache <laughs> and the mullet. Sure why, why'd, you, why'd you make me thinner on top? Go on. That's when you just like finish her off and just go with the eyebrow, a little the dash and the to, eyebrow. To her, on my eyebrow. <laughs> so, hey, I would, I do not recommend that in any circumstances. You touch your wife's hair because yeah. fuck, you're castrated. Fuck. Like you though, castrated. Go with the notch and the uh, or the the notches and the sides. You go the side. You know, I do <laughs> have probably. a jo- I do have a job too. Like I can't look like a complete asshole. Yeah, but. Well, you know, I don't know that you work a lot, and even if you do, like, is it that noticeable on a screen? Like, you know, think about it. Yeah, I think you can hide a, do a yeah, hat, maybe a little inappropriate for work call, but like, you need to easily do one, one of, of these, these, like, you know, or just you know the turn and. Chris, why do you always look so stressed out? Yeah, you know, yeah, I'm always stressed because I'm not playing golf. That's why. Yeah, like you're you're interrupting my game, like. Like, Chris, this is a weekly one and a half hour call. Exactly. I need to be playing golf during that time. I need to be at the range right now. I really messed that <laughs> this up. This is my range session time. Sorry. All right. Big things happen in the world of golf. We just finished the Byron Nelson. And yeah. big, big numbers. This is, and it's typical. It's typical that this course is set up for big, big numbers, meaning low, low scores. Uh, your thoughts yeah, I don't, on I don't, Byron Nelson? I don't have a problem with it. I didn't watch yeah. much of it, to be honest. I watched Sunday. Okay. Um, I don't, I mean, I don't have a problem with low scores. I know some people do and the integrity of the game, but like, fuck. I, mean, no, I think, I, I think yeah, it's I think fun it's a good mix. Yeah, I, I think, think it's a good mix. Like, yeah, Patrick, like too. you're about to go into the major a week before, throw some huge numbers out because odds are you're not going to see him the next week. That's perfect for me. It was almost like I was like watching the some of the golfers. I'm like, is 67 like, p- like part of them? Like in their eyes, if they shoot a 67, that's that's par. Like, 
<laughs> a Bryce and Deshaun both thought process. Right, because I mean, I mean, there was uh, there was enough rounds that people had d- were double digit under par, which is crazy, right? Yeah. So, <laughs> and not shooting, no one shot fifty nine. So between sixty. 61 and 62 there was enough of those rounds between 12 and 10 under that you have to be like whoa okay then 72 doesn't feel like par anymore even though it is yeah i'm just trying to like level set right because like an amateur golfer can't really comprehend being 20 whatever 23 under par over four rounds over yeah. four rounds it's like well i can get four birdies over four what rounds. was k what was k what was Lee KH Lee? He was 20, uh, 26 under to win it. I don't remember. I thought it was 23 for some reason. I think it was that doesn't sound right either. 26 sounds more appropriate. I was to think yeah. it's the record there now. I thought 25 was previous. Anyway, yeah, I think speed doesn't matter. Um, yeah, so whatever. I don't know. You're right. I think I like the numbers. It's not like every tournament people are winning 25 under. I actually had some decent um, names there for a week before our major. Yeah. There's a lot of um, lot of big names there playing. It's different. I think it's different for each major before the ball. Like especially like obviously when they go overseas, it's different. They get over there earlier. I feel like with the PGA, they especially when since they moved it back into May, where it used to be at the end of the year. Yeah. I think even more so, like they're like, why well, haven't like there's the gap between the masters and the PGA? It's like this the disparity of terms. Like, well, you kind of got this is one of the ones you gotta actually play. Spec- and it, I think it actually helps when you're going from this course to Southern Hills. It's tip, uh, I don't want to say the same course. It's much similar style. Yeah, they're going from the Texas heat. to Oklahoma. Yeah. Right? It's going to be similar. And, yeah, and you're playing the heat more. That's the other thing with, you know, the, the, where they played at. Um, it was a TPC course. I can't remember the name of it. Uh, TPC. For, for the Byron. Oh, uh, fuck. But, the Alice. But, um, um, well, I mean, a lot of a lot of the what had to do with the scoring too was the conditions. I mean, they had really beautiful conditions the whole week. And hot, right? yeah, hotter than hot the ball was jumping. And it's just a hotter normal. But Texas is always hot, yeah. but just warm. It was a warm tournament, humid for me, for sure. Yeah, yeah. and it's probably gonna be like that this weekend in Tulsa. I can't imagine it's going to be any cooler. You know, surprisingly, I don't I don't know about cooler, but like I think the weekend is supposed to be tolerable, like upper eighties, which is actually like for. Yeah, you know, this time of year it's it's hit or miss in Oklahoma. It's either hot or really fucking hot. Um, Oklahoma. I think it's just going to be hot on uh, the weekend, which is almost like, oh, okay, let's see what happens. Because I was listening to the telecast today about the redesign that they've done over the last, I think it's we're, been at least 15 years. We're now, talking about at, at Southern Hills. At Southern Hills. And they actually like have put piping beneath the greens. To keep them at an optimal temperature, so, so almost like, like, what, like water runs through yeah. there. So almost like what Green Bay does. If you're familiar with Green Bay does on their field in the winter, yeah, they won't run like warmer water through to like keep it from like being actual frozen tundra. Yeah, uh, Southern Hills does something similar. They have actually piping into the greens that keeps it um, a more reasonable temperature rather than like the sco- especially in the summer when you think about it, right? You're in the hundreds yeah. and just scolding hot greens, but you can yeah. run a pipe through it and keep water that keeps it like at 80, 80 85, right? Because you're never going to get it, right? You're not going to get it down that low. You got to be within reason in terms of an uh, air conditioning number, like which is roughly 20 degrees. Yeah. Um, yeah. I was listening. I'm like, that's, that's pretty freaking cool. They can control this now in April. And do what they want with the greens, depending on how the weather is, they can even manipulate greens even more. Right. So they can be like, all right, let's let's let them heat up a notch mm-hmm. than what we normally do with natural and like unnaturally doing that. Right. Because the weather can only do so much, but they can even manipulate it more now that they have this thing underground, which they can just turn it off essentially, right? And make the greens harder to hit and hold. Um, or you take it higher, but that's just another element that they can manipulate for a championship level golf course. Wow. That was, <laughs> that was impressive, Mark. Uh, what just happened? Uh, <laughs> just. Uh, you were just went on about the, 
you're just really impressed with the greens <laughs> and yeah. the, the work that they've done so how do you think that how do you think that impacts the greens what do you oh, think? you're gonna have, ask me a follow-up question yeah follow-up so. question like, what do you mean I, how i think it's gonna be? i think that's perfect like they can watch the weather unfold right it's supposed to be warmer Thursday, change the Friday. change the water temperature yeah they could be like all right saturday's moving day this time we're gonna let people uh come at greens right they could just be like so right, by cooling down the temperature it softens the greens i'm asking like yeah. how does that factor into what they do absolutely it softens right so they can water them and keep this on and let them soften the greens whereas like if it's going to be 95 and in and hot like they can they can do this you know on a normal golf course right you can water them early but at the day it goes on it dries out your your so it keeps whatever, the, whatever keeps nature the playing holds. field even throughout exactly. the day like you can adjust, I don't, and i don't know the rules to this right can they adjust mid-round hopefully not hopefully it's like those type of things are you can set it to x and then this is, this is standard yeah um but yeah i think the shit holy you're right could they just manipulate a golf course right hopefully that nothing would ever come to that right you could be like all right let's let's flip the switch let's uh <laughs> let's let all the the top golfers you know have the greens and just you know blow the rest of the field out of the water yeah no I, yeah you're like that like the greens keeper like someone's on the tee on a par three that they don't like and they like flip the switch and put the water like boiling hot real fast <laughs> Right. I don't know that it, it's like that quick. No, but, I, know, uh, I know. I know. I know. Um, yeah, no, I think I, I learned a lot about the redesign uh, of this course, like in how they've really Do you know who, tried re to, who redesigned it. I knew you were going to ask me that. And I'm terrible at this to begin with. I, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. But they've done a lot over the last 15 years. Should I get R&D on it? Yeah, you can get R&D on it. So I was, I was looking at how many holes like overlap each other now because of the the extended distances they put the for the professionals there's a couple holes even there's a, a couple holes where like they're almost they're teeing off over over the green yeah or yeah they're teeing off over the green or like there's interference between like the green like line of sight right for normal shots they put these uh pga tour tee boxes so like there's a couple that like they're worried so even even like the main example, one in ten, now ha almost have a shared tee box. The thing is, with with so many people in the field, they have to send people off one in ten uh, in the first two rounds. So now instead of doing like normal, t I think twelve or whatever they do tee times, they have to do like uh, the first tee goes every six minutes, on you know, but the 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 or like the sixes and the twelves, but then the um, the tenth tee has to go every three and nines, something like stupid like that, because those tee boxes are literally right next to each other, and they can't, they don't want them overlapping each other. Huh. But yeah, I think it just I think it just blew your mind. Yeah, no, you did. That's kind of wild. That I paid. What that I did some research today. Yeah, they did some research. <laughs> They've done uh, so. The the architectural group that did it is um, Gil Hanse, Gil Hans, yeah. and Jim Wagner. Mm -hmm um names now that you say the names i've yeah i've heard them say yeah they've done so. a lot of they've done like courses like uh stream they do song. a lot of redesigns redesigns but yeah. they've done some original projects like they did stream song black course i should take the back so they've course. done a lot of pinehurst courses restores on great courses restores uh -huh. on great courses, and have done great courses so they're like it's a it's a good group right they they care about um old-fashioned golf if you will renovation projects let's see yeah, Piners is up there. Colonial. Yep, Colonial. Obviously, Southern Hills. Um, They've done some of, some of the greens at Augusta. I don't know if they'll put that on there or not, but that was oh, one of the things. The LA said. Country Club, Olympic <laughs> Olympic Club. Uh, so, I mean, they, they've done some of the names. They've touched some of the names. Yeah, Oakland Hills Country Club. Never heard of that. <laughs> No, uh, you're you're call all you're doing is calling out like Winged tournament foot. caliber courses, and not even tournament caliber, like uh, Wing, major caliber. Wingfoot Southern Hills was done, and it's still ongoing too. Yeah, um, 2015. They've been working on it since 2015. Yep. Oakmont uh, Rolling Green Country Club. 
In Arlington Heights, Illinois? No, in Pennsylvania. Oh, that one. <laughs> uh, oh, 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 oh. Yeah, lots of cool stuff. Palmetto Golf Club mm. in South Carolina. Sunshine State, gorgeous. Yeah, yeah, lots of, they, they've, their dicks have touched lots of golf courses. Oh, went there, Hannes, huh? Yeah. All right, so we get a take. We could take down there in the southern hills of Oklahoma. Um, God, don't pick the same person. I want no, to. I'm going to take Scotty Shuffler. Oh, how do you know I wasn't going to take him? I don't know. Okay, I'm telling you, I'm on. taking. I did. I'm ta- okay, I did take him. Go ahead. You did or you didn't? Did not. Yeah, I'm taking Scotty. Like it. I do like it though. And I'm taking um, Russ Henley to finish top ten. Love it. Yeah. He's, a so long, why, he's like a hundred to one long shot. Yeah, right no, now. I think he he does tend to show up in majors for it. Like it just popped my head. Like, yeah, he comes. He seems to come around in majors every now and then. Yeah, and I, he's. I mean, he's never. I don't think he's ever finished top ten in a major. But no, but like, he just seems to show his face. <laughs> he's been around for a long yeah. time. Yeah. So. So what made you think Scotty's going to go first two majors? Uh, he's just playing well, man. He's just, yeah. you know, he's just playing well. I think. I was reading that the, you know, from T to green, the course fits him well. Um, he's the best. He he's the best. Well too. He's the, he's, he won, he won the big 12 championship yeah. there. He won the individual championship there. I think that yeah, was, it was, that's what I was into. Yeah. 20, yeah. I think that was even 2015. Was that 2015? Yeah. Sounds right. Sometimes in the mid 20s, uh, 20, 20, 2010s. I'm not only, good at this. He's 24. He's 25 or 26. Okay. So he, he's not he, 24. Uh, I'm not good at this. No, I'll ask R and D real quick. But he, anyway, go he, on. either either way, he 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 won there and played well there before, yeah. and he's the best golfer in the world right now. Yeah. Um, so it's hard. It's hard not. He's 25 years old. See, so we're pretty close. So let me see when they won. Let me find out when they won the uh, when Texas won. Well, Spieth wasn't with him, so you know how good. Spieth is a few years older than him, right? No, Spieth. I want to say Spieth's thirty-one now. Again, terrible person to ask. What to lose you? You okay? No, 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 no. I'm trying to think one. I, I can't. I can't. You can't think. think you know, I get it. It's hard sometimes. But anyways, it's really yeah. Hard. That's why I'm taking Scotty. Think. Okay, good. That's why I'm I taking lo- Scotty. I mean, he's the number one player in the world, right? Yes. So, yeah. It's not like it's, a, it's not like he's a shocking pick. Which is so. It would, what makes this so much better is he was the number one. He's the number one player in the world and never won a tournament before this year. Never. The twenty twenty. Has that ever happened before? I um, again. I'm asking the wrong guy. Yeah. You're. Yeah. If you want to get R and D on it, go for it. They're still working in whatever question you asked them last time. So. Yeah, I'm just gonna give up on that one. Yeah, sooner or later we gotta pay them or pay them with like beer or something. Bitcoin. No. <laughs> <laughs> something much much less value, right? You don't want any fluctuation in the bush light prices. So get them a 30 rack of the bush light and let them go. do their thing. There we go. Keep the Bitcoin to other people that care. So who you got? I was very torn going into today between uh, Justin Thomas and Cam Smith. You, you, you had a, you had a funny look on your face. I need to hear why, because maybe that'll change my decision. No, I just uh, Justin Thomas for me is kind of like you kind of never know what you're going to get right now from him. So, box, huge box of chocolates. Yeah, I feel like yeah. he's a wild card. He's a really good player, but he's, I feel like he's kind of – him and Xander are kind of in the same category for me right now. Holy you cow. You don't yeah. know what you're going to get out of them. Yeah, and then you'll have one of them just shoot 60 or 61 and, like, throw themselves in the midst of a tournament when you didn't even know they were playing in it. Yeah. Yeah, right, or so. just play terrible. Yeah. So, so thank you. You actually re- and, um, reconfirmed. Confirmed. Is that a word? Confirmed. Reconfirmed. Like it was confirmed, now it's reconfirmed. Also like confirmed. Another time. Yeah. You also confirmed my like, 
I made a decision. I confirmed my decision, and now you reconfirmed my decision. Yeah, I think that sounds good. <laughs> you want nothing to do with this, do you? I don't, I so, don't know if that's a you can say that. But I think so. You reconfirmed my decision that I'm going with Cam Smith. Yeah. To win at Southern Hills. Okay. Um, I'm hoping that it's close enough to Australia type weather where it brings him back. Um, I'm, I, I say I mean, he that played, he played well at the Masters. Except That's what I say. I say that tongue in cheek. He plays. He's been playing really well at the majors the last uh, couple go arounds. Yeah, and he's just a damn good golfer. So no, he is. He I'm is. thinking weather has like a maybe a one percent chance to do with it. So, but if it does, it like sprinkles an eye, sprinkles his eye to remember Australia. This just feels like Australia to him, and he wants to win. I don't know. I'm going. Yeah. For it. Are we bothering you right now? It looks like you're on your No, phone. no. I was reading something about Cam Smith earlier. Did yeah. he withdraw? Did I pick someone that withdrew? No. You're just um, reading your phone instead of talking with our guests. No, no. I was, I'm was. i reading what I was reading about Cam Smith earlier. Yeah. Um, and, they're, you know, they're saying Southern Hills is mostly a second shot course, and that's like Cam's kind of – that's his game. But you've got to have a really good tee shot there, and he's not good off the tee. Yeah, that's what they were they were telling so about. It's that's the what longest shit. Yeah. It's the longest PGA ever. Um and they're saying it's tight. It's longer than it's longer than the ocean course last year. This is playing 75 AD, I think he said. Holy shit. Yeah. A par 70 is playing 75 AD. Do I need to repeat myself? Wow. There is two par fives over 600 yards that's staggering so there's what is there's four par fives all together uh I, for oh, three three fives i want to uh now i'm guessing between three and three or um or not i don't remember but i know it's a the longest par 70 so they were they were touting a lot of the uh who can who could who does best off of teeing off with irons with distance and accuracy, right? So um, you know, I camped pretty good with the long iron. So maybe he um goes away from I think they were saying when the couple times that Woods has won or the, the winners have come through here, they've steered away from driver off the um, tee off the tee at a very low percentage. Now, maybe that's why they've lengthened, lengthened it even more. But at the same time, you're also playing against the course and the, your component. So if – component? Is this – that didn't – You said sound. component, but I know, you, I know you meant opponent. Yes. I know there's no, there shouldn't be a meant. C. I know what you meant. I was just going to let it go. Yeah. I, so no, it go. I heard myself, and I'm like, that doesn't sound good. <laughs> um, no, if you um, – you know, who, who knows? Who knows what they're going to do, right? So if you get someone that's on fire with the driver and and can hit a great second shot, they might run away with this. Yeah. But if you can't get off the tee and the rough is is supposed to be wicked, you're going to put yourself in a world of hurt, and you never know, right? Some just the the good ball strikers could make a good run at this. Yeah, Cam's a great ball striker. You just you just got to be in play off the tee. That's what killed him Sunday at the at Augusta. Yeah, well, no, I don't disagree with that. Yeah. Um, and Scotty's been fucking pounding the ball off the tee. Scott, well, Scotty is in a well, he's literally in a class of his own now, right? Because he is uh, the world number one. He just won the Masters, so he, he's got a little mojo going for him, right? Let's hope, 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 hope he plays well. Um, Pretty cool. It's almost like it's like the triple crown in horse racing, but like multiply it by 25%, right? Because, um, or multiply it by 75%. Either way, um, <laughs> math is not good for me. Wait, anyway, what are, you, what are you trying to say? Well, I'm just saying, say? like, <laughs> in, in the triple crown, right? Everyone wants to see the first horse win and win the second one and make it a triple crown. Where it's like, as you in the major, everyone wants, okay, so whoever wins the first, I want that same guy to win the second. And can he do what everyone, you know, no one has been able to do? Win four majors in the same year. 
Yeah. So that's what I mean. Like the grand it's not even, no one even talks about it anymore for golf because it just doesn't happen. Oh, it's really hard. It's really, really hard. But it's a, it's a, that's like the triple crown. That's a really hard. Really that's hard. what I mean. Like it's not even the triple crown because it's so hard. It's harder really than hard the triple crown. <laughs> but uh, all right. So I'm taking uh, Mr. Cam Smith. And then I was very torn again. This is what happens when I do research. You can't let me do this. Uh, for my top <laughs> 10 between uh, uh, Louis Oosthuizen and Max Homa, both playing great golf again. I got back into the ball striker of Louis Oosthuizen. Do I just play him? Um, and, I, and I have. I have chosen Louis. He also seems to come out in majors too. So Louis Oosthuizen for the top 10. Do you know what he does? What he used to do? I don't. Well, what be more practice? specific. So, like, he, you know, he typically hits a draw on the ball. Okay. But when he warms up, he only hits a cut. So he doesn't overdraw the ball. But oh. I was reading this article about, like, his warm-up routine. And, like, yeah. he would, because he'd have a tendency to overcook the ball. Got it. So he would always hit a cut on the range. And that so that when he stopped on the course. From over, from overdrawing the ball on the course. And then there's and me. I, and I'm on the range just trying to make contact with the ball. I'm worried about hitting is hitting golf balls. And am I going to get a transfusion before I start or like on the third hole? Yeah. That's really what I'm focused on. And he's worried about strategy and saying, I don't want to overcook the ball. I'm just going to play cuts off the drive range. Again, I'm worried about not making a divot in which the ball goes 10 yards and the divot goes 10 yards. That's my focus on the driving range. I got, you know, uh, you know, that, that's why he's professional and I'm in my basement with recording a drop a, ceiling. Recording a podcast. And recording a podcast. <laughs> what, the drop, what the drop ceiling? <laughs> <laughs> my, my goddamn drop ceiling uh, all right hey so is phil mickelson ever playing uh pga tour golf again i mean no i'm serious <laughs> i'm actually serious now is he playing is he done playing pga tour golf I mean, it appears that way right yeah it appears that way and it appears anyone else that decides to challenge the PGA is done. Because the PGA ain't having it. No, they're not letting people out. That's they're for not sure. having it. Uh, that's why I was curious. Which is I, a shame. Well, you know. It's a shame. They think they're above everything. So they don't think. Like, they just think, like, this will go away like everything else does. I, I'm this two shall pass. The players are like. If the guys want to go, let them fucking go. This is where I don't know enough about PGA Tour cards. So at the end of the year, if you're good, you have to recommit. I don't like, think so. I think you know what I mean. I, like, I is, think is everybody living on one year contracts? Is what I'm saying. Like, if yeah. you make the PGA Tour, you have a one year contract. Yeah, I think you get your card renewed. I think your cards are renewed every year. Right. right? So, so if someone top, says, you know what, I don't want my card. I don't want it. Yeah, so when the season's over, they maybe you're done. Choose. Like you can get out. I guess that, so. And that's what I was getting at. Like, I, is this is this the timing of this because of what Phil did early, early, early in the year, or is it this the timing of this because there was no good way to time this? To, you know what I mean? Like, no matter what happened, we would have had to close the window of like a four weeks from when we said we're good to when it would go because. I don't, again, I don't know how two cards works, but like if at the end of the year or the start of the year, they say, everybody, here, here are the people that get their cards and everyone just uh, goes with it, right? Because it's the best league. But now is it going to be like in February, again, I'm picking an arbitrary date. In February, right. like, all right, here's the 100 people that get cards, but you all have to agree to it. And if they don't, are they free to go? Yeah, that's a good question. I, I don't know that answer. Okay. Um, I would I would assume it's some some way like that, right? You don't you you earn your PGA Tour card for the season, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Um, and 
mean, that, think, that does the PGA, make, what the you're P- saying is makes sense to me. So the yeah, PGA Tour is trying to avoid people having the option to play both tournaments, right? So now mm-hmm. they're also screwed. They're they're intentionally screwing over the um, live golf or live golf. I don't know how they pronounce it. L I V golf. No, whatever they sure okay. However they pronounce it, they're I think they're intentionally trying to screw them over for having any viability this year, right? Because mm-hmm. I think the first tournament's in June, isn't it? It's soon. Yeah, I think it's the first week in June. And uh, so if like, they're not if they're not letting anyone out of the, the PGA, and I, I don't know, I don't know how the PGA tour differs from the European PGA tour versus from the Asian PGA tour versus from the South American PGA tour, right? Like I don't know if those are I don't know how those organizations function yeah unilaterally right like sure. can, can those guys go play in this with no issues who knows i don't know yeah i i think uh this off season will tell so at the end of when the fedex cup ends i think that's when their official year ends right and what the <laughs> opt-out clause is or can people just jump ship all the like the names we've heard right the names we've heard have not been the top no, definitely not the top 10 golfers. I would say like top 20. It doesn't mean the top 25 and very limited top 50. But that's not to say if you're a top 50 golfer, that doesn't mean you're not good. So that's what yeah. I'm very concerned to see. Like, all right, is some of the top 40 to 50 jump and don't come back? And then what the balance of power is in in these leagues. Don't get me wrong, it sounds like still the majors are going to be the majors, but if the talent isn't as robust being like 40 to 60 or 30 to 50 aren't there. I'm just throwing out arbitrary numbers. Do their tournaments get, do the PGA tournaments get less um, lucrative because you're losing players for sure. Economics says yes. (laughs) I think, or, or does the PGA say, all right, we have to rethink our, what we take in (laughs) Because they're keeping a very big penny for themselves, right? So that they say, all right, we're making 80% profits. Do we say, and now we're only going to make 70% profits and pump those that 10% back into the purse? Um, maybe they have to just early on to keep people interested and make sure that they don't lose more players to the other league, like those mid-range players. Well, I think, and to your point, some of these ancillary tournaments get more boring mm-hmm. or worse players, right? You already got fringe players playing in a lot of these, some of these tournaments, right? Yep. Um, yeah. You know, like, I can't think of one off the top of my head, but we got a few tournaments the last, you got a few tournaments in between, in between before the Masters and shortly after the Masters. Yeah. Where it's no, just like, it, there's going to be. like, what, whatever. And now, now you're going to have even some of those guys go on, right? So it's just like, yeah, it's, it's a challenge for the PGA, but I think they, you know, hopefully they, I, I think the issue that a lot of, I mean, a lot of the guys that have it are leaving is like some of the rules and some of like how, mm-hmm. like, like, you know, like just like, for me, it's just like, let the guys wear shorts, right? I know that's probably not a big <laughs> issue to them, but like- No, it's kind of funny. Well, let them wear fucking shorts, right? The, like, yeah. you know, let wear shorts. The purses are big, but like, the purses that are going to be available for these golf tournaments, and there's like 40 guys in competition, yeah. and you can get 40th and win as much as like you would have to win in like a top 10. Like, yeah, why wouldn't those guys consider it? I mean, you made a joke that I can wear shorts, but it's like I know that sounds petty and stupid, but it's like there's also the, the biggest golf league in the world for whatever reason still forces players to wear pants. Yes. Like the, the, this, like take, when you take a step back and say, they make you wear pants when it's 95 degrees out, like stupid. It does. It just it makes you step back and say, okay, this is kind of stupid. stupid. And then what else are they doing? That's stupid. Oh, they're keeping a lot of the money for themselves. And we're the, we're the entertainment. So the people that have been, you know, unfortunately that are standing up now are the ones that are in between, but they're the ones, you know, it's fine that they do it. Yeah. If they bring the awareness and then if so, the PGA will write the ship, they'll start paying their players more. 
They'll cut their costs. They'll do what the, you know, all the other sports leagues before them have done is make adjustments. They don't have like, they don't have a, I don't think the, I don't know if this is to be true or not, but like they don't have union. I don't think they have a players union or CBA type agreement like the other sports do. I don't know. I don't even want to say yes or no. Uh, you you would think that they would, especially I, when it I comes have, to like I feel like I would have heard that come out and, by now, right? Like you know, I just you, you but you're right. You don't hear like, a lot about like, the uh, collective I, bargaining of the. I PGA feel like tour. I would have heard that come out as part of this discussion. So so maybe that's what's coming. But when you think about it, these big leagues, there's a reason why there's no one that competes with them. They're the big leagues. They have more money. They have a ton of money and they have the best entertainment value. So, yeah. right, when people try to challenge the NFL with these subsequent leagues and they, you know, a lot of them don't actually do well, <laughs> but some of them, one of them have started out with a flash in the pan where pe- at least people were watching, right? So it gets the attention and then, you know, at least gets people thinking. So maybe it, worst case, if that's what this is and gets the PGA Tour thinking or gets the, the tour professionals thinking that, hey, there, if there is an imbalance of justice here or an imbalance of money, which is that's what I meant, um, then let, maybe we need to collectively bargain about it. And I, <laughs> and I think I think what, what people overlook and maybe not just remember at the, at the top of their head is that three of the four majors aren't pga tour sanctioned events mm-hmm. you know yep. they're not they're not sanctioned by the pga tour like and most people watch most people that watch golf are during these majors now you might watch the players championship right that's a pga event and the mm-hmm. fedex cup playoffs right those are pga events but i bet 90 percent of the average golf fan would watch watches one of the one of the majors right and three of the four of those aren't pga events Yep. So you now we're, now you take those out, right? And now you're looking at, you know, what's I can you even name a handful of PGA events that you would sit down and just watch outside of those? Yeah, you, you you're right. You'd probably you know? run into a handful. You know, so that's what I'm saying. Like it's just like now 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 I'm now I'm talking myself into like, okay, now we're looking at can there be more does the PGA have to get their hands more on these majors, right? Or can there be more competition in the golf world now? Yeah, I think, again, I think, but think about it in sports, right? What brings out the best in people is competition. So if this is the worst thing that happens to the PGA, that they get some competition to rethink their model that have been, has been this way for years and being stagnant, and I'm not saying take the tournaments away from the smaller areas that have them right now, but you certainly got to rethink them, right? Because if if you have a competing league now that says, "All right, uh, you're going to have a tournament in," and I, I use this tongue in cheek because those were the PGA's, you're going to have a tournament in Tulsa, Oklahoma. I'm going to throw one in Miami, and which one are you going to watch? Because I'm going to have just as big of names. I'm going to have more money thrown into this, and we're going to have a little more fun, right? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like the XFL, but. Um, right, the XFL was a little bit of a flash in the pan. It got least people talking. It got it's coming you know, back too. You know, it obviously didn't do the greatest. But it, if you don't think it got the NFL thinking and saying we got to have a little more fun, otherwise, you know, we don't want to turn people off. You're fucking shitting yourself because yes, they think about that all the time. For sure, and make changes so that they can bring some more fun into the game. Um, so that they keep these leagues at bay. We're having fun. Golf is fun. Golf is not fun. <laughs> no, sir. In no way, shape, or form is golf fun. Oh, your ball's in a divot in the middle of the fairway? Hit it. Exactly. Play it as it lies, motherfucker. Hit it anyways. Your ball is stuck in a bush and you can't pick it up and throw it? Silly. <laughs> <laughs> all right we got another match coming up are you ready for this the match no, 346 stupid yeah i think this one's really lost its luster uh there's no pga professionals actually playing in it and i'm checked out with it 
You got some old quarterbacks versus new quarterbacks or quarterbacks doing something. We need to get some fucking major league pitchers in there because major league pitchers in between fucking it, games, they just play golf. They're good golfers. Get fucking Smolty in there. Get Smolty. Smolty's is too good. Maybe get like, all right, do something crazy about the Braves. Do a Brave special. Get yeah, Glav get- and give me Smoltz. Maddox. Maddox and Steve Avery or something fucked up, right? <laughs> Someone fucked up. Maybe Mark Walders. Oh. Um, you know, whoever yeah. else was in get that. Old 90s, they had a foursome, a, right? Did a 90s Braves remix match. There was a foursome, and it was definitely those three and then somebody else. Um, Clavin, Clavin, Smoltz, Maddox. Yep. And... There was a fourth. No, I know. I'm just. I need I'm to just... know who it is. Who was their rotating fourth? You're asking who they who they brought on. Well, right. So, at any given point, they got to rotate at least. There's one a fourth guy, yeah, because in between, in between starts. starts so right. maybe they made it. Maybe they had a six of them, right? That was that they just rotate. Through. Maybe it was the bullpen catcher. Did they like him? I don't, I don't know. know. Maybe you'd, I probably, don't know you'd probably have a good relationship with a bullpen catcher, right? Otherwise, you still wouldn't be there. If they didn't like him, they'd just find someone new. You mean like a Javi Lopez, maybe? Is he is he going out and playing with him? Probably not if he's no, playing every day. No, no, no. I'm, I'm just talking like the just the, the guy that catches the pen, man. Literally. Like he's, not even, he's not even on the team. It's the oh, guy. The his bullpen. staff. Yeah, the bullpen catcher. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah, maybe. Not, not Javi Lopez. Right, Still want to know. They're, they're not going to have – in Major League Baseball, you're not going to have a, some bullpen catcher you don't like, right? You start, no. you're, talk, you're talking Smoltz and Glavin. They're not going to be like, fuck, get a new bullpen catcher. This guy sucks. Right? They're yeah. going to find someone they want to golf with. You're right. I but, bet I bet their their fourth was the bullpen catcher. I, I want to hear more, right, because they can't play every day because at least one, one of the three of them is pitching, you know, three out of the five days. So there's only really two days potentially that they can play together, and I don't know their routine, right? Do they want to? Do they want to play the day after they pitch? Do they want to play the day before the pitch? You know, they want to play the morning style? of. Who knows? I don't know their style, right? So maybe it's I'm over glamming this, and they only played once a week. Maybe this needs to be a Netflix documentary. That's what I'm hinting at here. Like those folks do documentaries on everything. Maybe we should do it. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Glavin, I need to know more about how you play golf and when you played golf. And in order to do that, I need to play golf with you for at least 36 rounds before I can get a better grasp rounds. of over the how course of three yeah. years. Because I'm no. having my third kid. No, I need it in less than three years, maybe two, two and a half. <laughs> Quit my cool. job. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm 0% excited for the match, to be honest with you. I'm yeah. probably going to do my best to turn it on, but there's not a lot when is it? to it. Memorial Day weekend? I th- think so. I don't know. I th- actually think it might be Thursday this week. Oh, probably. really? I think so. The it's same day as the PGA Championship? It's coming up. Match 362nd version, is it? Wednesday, June 1st. Wednesday, June 1st. So not even close to what I'm talking about. Anyway. Just uh, after Memorial Day. Just after Memorial Day, not before. Anyway, I was thinking, like, I just don't know what's going to draw me to that. There's yeah. zero No, you're right. Golf. I don't have – there's no draw to me. And there's just a bunch of – like, mix in something to get me interested. Other than four with, boner quarterbacks. I'm with you. I'm with you. Um, talking shit to each other like who's going to win the super bowl I, you guys are great it's going to be one of the four of you probably that's going to win the super bowl don't give yeah. a fuck yeah correct <sighs> yeah not interested not interested not i've got a, i've got a match coming up on friday you do you're mat you're match playing got a match play is this a club green. it's a club thing it's a club match okay it's a winner go home oh god it's you gotta go first home already. The first round don't don't fuck it up. It's t- yeah, so it's a team match. Okay. Um, yeah, it's match play. 
So it's not stroke. So two man match play, or you're playing individually? Best ball, yeah, two man. Okay, match best play. ball. Okay, best ball between the two of us. Yeah. Okay. So see how it goes. I'll let you know. I'll let and you know how it goes. I'll let you know how I do. Friday, how many holes do you play? Nine or eighteen? Eighteen. Eighteen hole match. Yeah. Friday at noon. You want to come caddy for me? Uh, yeah, love to. You, you want to ride in the cart? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I, I was like, there's, there's a catch, right? Like, you don't expect me to walk with, with your clubs, right? Hey, right no, you can like, ride the, in the cart. I'll, I'll drive the cart. For you. I'll drive the cart. Like, the, like, let you think about your own shots, and I'll tell you what I think you should do. Um, like, tell you what window to hit through when you're on the left <laughs> or the right. There's a window. I see it. There's always there's a window. Always a window. It just always depends how big. Either it's a sliding glass door or it's a skylight. Always a window. It could be a little uh, bay window, which, you know, it ain't pretty. Always a, <laughs> always a window. Mm-hmm. Could be a car window. Or someone's car window. You've done that. <laughs> yeah. You're funny. You have jokes. Do you got lots you of make, lots You of make jokes. everybody laugh. <laughs> Mm. Don't you feel good about yourself? Yeah. Do you? Do you feel good? Yeah, I feel good. <laughs> Thanks, everyone, for joining us for this episode of the Breakfast Balls podcast. If you like what you heard and like learning from our mistakes, please subscribe. Also, if you're on Instagram, please follow us at breakfastballs.podcast. Panda! Listen! And you scam us, black exits, family, what you see, panda, panda swole, family, sally bar, candy, and I'm the macho like Randy. Hey, by the way, your daughter didn't show up for uh, dance class today. I know. Oh, you're, you're she, aware. No, she was there. Well, I know. We saw her for a minute or two. and then uh-huh, uh, She was there. She, uh. Yeah, Natalie was not happy. Oh, no. Leighton lost her iPad for a week and TV for a week. Whoa. Until she goes back to the dance. Wow. Can you guys, can you guys, I, I don't, I'm, I'm Layton, worried Layton, about you guys holding No, Leighton's fine. She, she knows. So th- here's what she does. Like, it, this is, this is, she knows, like, she doesn't care that she loses that because she, she's getting what she wants. Like, she's getting her way. And she knows, and she just she just does something else without it. It's like she doesn't need it. She's, she's totally fine. She, totally fine. Every time we take it away, she's fine. totally fine. Yeah. God, you know, you, gotta, you know, a book, a you know a book, or I, book I read her tonight. What? Angelina Ballerina. She picked it out about a mouse that becomes a ballerina. <laughs> and I'm, I'm like texting Natalie as I read to her. I'm like, this is fucking sweet. I, she's like the devil. Like she knows she when she's doing knows right exactly now. what she's doing. Because she goes, tell, wow. me, tell mommy what book I'm reading. Oh my God. Yeah. She is awesome. She's fucking manipulative. Oh, you think? Oh my God. She owns the place. Tell mommy what book I'm reading. Tell mommy, rub this in her face for me, won't you? Angelina Ballerina. <laughs> Never read that book. No idea what it's about. Yeah, it's just about a, a mouse that becomes a, a ballerina. Oh. I've probably read it a billion times. <laughs> <laughs>